All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video. Subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it, man. Hey, we're going to start this thing off with the dumbass comment of the day, man. And uh, the recipient of that reward is the fellow right behind me, uh, one Santuan Jones, who just says, I just don't think non-dribblers should comment on dribbling. And so I just asked a simple question, why are you commenting? Because... This type of logic is one of those things that's prevalent in the 2K community. It's just like, if you don't do this, then you shouldn't talk about it. Just like none of us are developers, but we constantly talk about the game. We constantly talk about the things that it takes for us to be able to play the game and do this. Uh, at the beginning of the year, shooting had gone awry. People were hitting fades and all type of stuff like that. Guess we shouldn't have talked about that because we weren't the shooters that were hitting us, so we shouldn't have spoke on it. Uh, you know, the behind the back was broken. Hey, you know, we shouldn't have talked about that because if we weren't using it, we had to defend it. There's no way that we could that we, we could see it was broken. Um, and there's one aspect of the game that they've taken this approach in, which is post fades and uh and hook shots. We're not post people, so we shouldn't speak on it. But those things are still overwhelmingly broken. Uh, taking this thing to real life, that's just like saying with civil rights, hey, these people had no rights, so why are you speaking on? Why should, why do people that don't have rights come in? on having rights it's just things like that man i mean you can even take this to a whole nother level on youtube and say why does someone who gets no views comment on youtube videos and the thing is the overwhelming majority of the people on youtube don't even do youtube videos and because of that they have no views and if they don't have no views then we don't have anybody to comment we don't have anybody to drive the whole youtube spectrum but I ain't petty like that, man. I just try to let people know. I've always thought that that level of thought and that way of thinking was just asininely stupid. Just because of the fact that if you don't, well, if, if you don't do something, then you don't have the right to speak out about it. What? That's like the dumbest thing I've ever heard. But anyway, man, I'm not going to go too far into this. I'm just going to, I just I spoke my piece right there. And uh, we're going to be right back right after the intro. Lino! If you make it to C25, that's OG status. I was told you could be anything, just don't be average. Down bad, flat pockets, that shit made me upset. Start hustling non-stop, don't plan on breaking that head. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, so y'all already know what time it is, man. Once again, we're bringing the 2K heat every day of the week, man. And we just got a little leak here um, on the badges and things like that. Uh, NBA 2K21 leaks and news check it out we're gonna put it on the screen here big for y'all right quick man and uh it's just talking about quick draw but the quick draw badge has been removed from nba 2k21 and it goes in depth i am going to just go over it right here real quick we're gonna we're gonna read it and then we're gonna talk about it man uh and it just goes like this badges seem like everyone seemed like everyone was a big fan of how we redesigned the badge system last year uh with the ability to swap badges in and out as you upgrade this is something that me and t mizzle were talking about this morning we were talking about what this video should be about today and uh if y'all don't know him go follow him he's down in the description the instant burner but we were talking about the the, the my player system and things like that they um they were they were some of the things that they really did right in 2k but we're just gonna keep on going with it the ability to swap badges in and out as you upgrade that's returning in NBA 2K21. So that part is confirmed. All right. Throughout the life of NBA 2K20, uh, throughout the life of NBA 2K20, we collected tele uh, telemetry data that gave us detail, gave us a detailed breakdown of what badges people were equipping for certain builds, uh, build types, and which ones weren't being used as much. Uh, this was very useful in helping us redesign and tune badges for NBA 2K21. I think you'll find the more badges. Uh, let me see. I think you'll, I think you'll find that more badges will have merit and fight for a spot in your badge loadout. I hope so. Uh, giving us, giving you more effective tools to take over games in more varied, in a more varied fashion. Fine. And here's some, and here's some good news that. I know the community will appreciate. We've removed the quick the quick draw badge and put release speed back into the jump shot creator so that one thing, I mean, so, so that's one thing you won't have to waste your precious badge points on. Now, I don't know if I like this right here, man. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I, I don't know how much I like that just because of the fact that Swante made an awesome video last week about this. And uh, he was talking about how to quick draw badge 
actually is is a badge of balance and i'm gonna get we'll get into that in a second but i feel like it's a badge that helps balance out the game i'll tell you why but we're just gonna go down to the closing thoughts in closing uh as always i want to give a huge shout out to all the gameplay engineers and producers as well as the talented team at bc south uh, who worked and who worked and are still working tirelessly to deliver the best basketball game to date the current gen version of nba 2k21 uh, versions of nba 2k21 are a great step forward for the virtual hoops and stay tuned in the coming months for all the goodies we have in store for you uh for you on the next gen platforms uh the future is very bright for 2k now i don't doubt that i don't doubt that the future is very bright for 2k man just for the simple fact that like I said, this, this 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 year is one of the top grossing games. Now, this is just if we believe this. This seems like it's something real, and it seems like something that 2K would do. And uh, this is something, you know, according to according to uh, um, Santuan Jones, is that uh, you know, we probably shouldn't. We probably shouldn't listen to people on because you know most people are non-shooters. They're not shooters like me. If you ain't shooting over sixty percent, then you ain't no shooter. If you ain't dropping no green bean money team, you ain't no shooter. So why should they listen to anybody? It's because everybody's opinion counts. It may not be valid, and nobody may not care about your opinion, like in that case. But everybody's opinion counts. It, it, it deserves to be heard. You can be just because you're an idiot doesn't mean your your opinion doesn't. Uh, deserve to be heard because sometimes we need to hear people's opinions so we know what not to do and uh that's just what i always say you listen to a fool and they'll tell you what not to do uh, uh what they say uh, a wise man learns from watching other people fail a fool learns only from his own own experience that's what i'm saying man so in that case i completely agree i understand that we have to uh that, that we have to listen to everybody and that uh you know everybody's opinion can be valid as long as it's a valid opinion we can validate the opinion and we can see why you have that stance it's completely fine uh, I am not a fan of this just because of the fact that I feel like it might be one of those joints that give centers and, and non-shooting bills that advantage back. Because look, uh, as it stood, looking right here, you, you, you not having to waste points as a center, it's going to help me out, but I think I just may not like it just because of the fallout of it. Because not having to use three points uh, as a center this year, if you had hot uh, what, what, what's the uh, if you had quick draw on hall of fame it was not as fast as a guard with its own silver just think about that quick draw on hall of fame for a center was not as as not as fast as a guard who had it on hall of fame which was crazy but i understood they didn't want centers shooting the ball and doing stuff like that they, they like damn near killed shooting for centers and a lot of people a lot of people tell you that and then a lot of people came back and was like Yo, I don't understand how you shoot the ball like that on your center, especially when you made a center that's over 6'9". Under 6'9", anybody can shoot the ball. You shoot it with your eyes closed with your feet. But once you got to 6'10", 6'11", you know, 7'0", and all the way up to 7'3", shooting became increasingly more difficult. And a lot of people don't know. Trades up! Green Bean Money! Well, it wasn't Green Bean Money team, but it still was cash. Splash down! Um, a lot of people don't understand how much more difficult it became. So now, looking at all of this, it's like... It's like, hey, centers are not even gonna have to really worry about that. Now, I think that it, it it goes a long way to making the game possibly a little unbalanced, maybe? I don't know. What do y'all think? Um, I know a lot of people weren't a fan of these badges. I know a lot of people weren't a fan of these badges. Uh, a lot of people didn't wanna use, they wanted to just make their jump shot in the jump shot creator. But just think about it now. So now as a center, I could have gone with deep fades. I could have uh, made my dead eye more powerful. Uh, I could have made, what well, I could have made, what, pick and pop. So like, so somebody like me now, instead of instead of having to waste points, it, like, it benefits me and I still don't like it. And I think that's what people think. People only like something when it benefits them or they don't like it when it doesn't benefit them. But the thing is this, this will benefit me greatly and I still don't know if I exactly like it because I like the strategy that, that it takes to choose which badges you want and to place them in the places that you want. I like the strategy put, you know, that that's that's involved with that. Right! I don't really like the fact that you're just gonna be able to have, uh, what, an additional, for me it's gonna be an additional three badge points. Think about this, I had my badges like this, so now I'll be able to put like 
like I have be able to have pick and pop on go. So like I think the only thing I had different from this, I, or I'll be able to use Green Machine and, and, and different bands, put my dead eye up, put deep fades on, um, put difficult shots on. Like I couldn't even put difficult shots on and stuff like that before. But now I'll be able to put those things on. And I just think that an additional three to four bash points, it can make a shooter overpowered because they don't have to think about it anymore. Now, now yes, they could. They could have just uh, made it like you don't have to have as many bash points. They can just give us more bash points or something like that. Just give us a, a, an additional three bash points, which it seems like that's what they've done. But it's just like, I always, I felt like the shooting and the shooting badges in this game right now, it is so close to be, it's, it's so close to perfect that if they add anything, it could be overpowered. And, and like I said, my guy with pick and popper, where I really couldn't hit from the top because I don't shoot from the top that much, so my hot zones are not at the top. I, uh, my hot zone hunter wouldn't be at the top. I'll be able to put on another range extender or something like that. I could put, like I said, I could put on deep fades and fade people. Like, bro, it's gonna be crazy. The, the some of the stuff that you can do. And like I said, a lot of guards didn't even put on, didn't put on, um, didn't put on volume shooter. They didn't put on tireless shooter. Didn't put on steady shooter. Uh, you know, a lot of these, they didn't put on hot start, didn't put on difficult shots. A lot of these things, just adding three more bash points can really make these guys, they can really make you overpower. Just think about right now, you're going to have an additional three to four bash points. Think about that. Tell me down in the comments that your build wouldn't be damn near OP with these extra three bash points. With my 3 and D guard, if I had difficult shots on, the dude is OP. I couldn't hit phase without difficult shots on. I put difficult shots on, I'm able to hit phase. It's crazy. Like, and, and, and don't don't get me wrong. Like I said, it does benefit me because with my center, I'm gonna be able to put on pick and popper, and I'll be able to just you know jump to the top of the key, and I can hit those shots now, even with no hot spot up there and really no practice because I'll get the little boost from pick and popper. There was no incentive for me to set screens and pop this year because I didn't have pick and popper on, and now we're gonna have to dip, bro. It's gonna be crazy. I don't think it's gonna be game breaking. Like I said, I just wasn't a fan of it. For that reason, I just felt like it was a. It could like this thing is so it's so delicately balanced right now that adding at, it is teeter tottering on on making it broken. It really just depends on how who gets what badges next year and how they decide to give us the badges, how they decide to deliver these badges, what the badge system is, which badges they take out, which ones they combine, you know, things like that. That's really what it's going to depend on. But just looking at it. Man, look, some people gonna have flexible release on and stuff like that, put on green machine that couldn't put it on before. You know, like, it's just crazy because we learned this year how to not play with certain badges. And because we learned this year how to, how to play without certain badges, it's just like, right now, it's gonna be crazy when we get these badges back and you don't have to sit there and waste, you know, badges on something else. Like I said, it benefits me, and I just don't know how I feel about it. I really don't like it, because I know some of these centers can be broken if you add three more badges, three more shooting badges. Not saying that the game is going to be exactly the same. I'm just saying that I know that a lot of these center positions can be broken. Or a lot of different positions can be broken if they get three more. It's just like they're getting three more shooting badges uh, to add to their, you know, to add to their joints, man. But anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. Um, do you think some of these joints, should, should, is this something that should be added? Should it be taken away? Do we need to to do one or the other? Or are you happy about it? You're not happy about it? I guess there's nothing to not be happy about. I just see, my mind can just see how broken the game can become if they, if they, if because they're doing this. But it really just depends on what badges they allow us to have and how they allow us to equip them. But 2K does an awesome job at balancing, so we know it's gonna be a perfectly balanced game and there's not gonna be any problems at all with this, right? Anyway, man, I'm holler at y'all next time. Do y'all think this is true? Do you think it's a good thing? Let me know down in the comment section. I'm holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. God speak. Then commence. It don't make cash and it don't make sense. Cause we can't pay rent with no one's opinion. So in that sense, I never value your two cents. Hey, darn. Please leave that bullshit you speak at the barn, cause I ain't buying. I'm only 5'8, that's fine, nigga. I can give a heart transplant to a giant. I ain't lying, God speak. God speak. God speak. We good.